Yeah, hi everybody. Welcome to Wind Pillow Talk. Another awesome, awesome day. We're grateful to God for His mercies that located every single one of us today. Yes, I'm actually in the sea. You can hear it right at the background. You can see it for yourself. I'm actually standing in the sea, but the sea has moved on. The deception is I can stay here and think it's dry land and I don't locate or get myself somewhere safe. It's just a matter of time. The sea will come back and I'll be drowned and I'll be gone. That's a deception we most of us live in this day. I'm meditating earlier as I was meditating. I wondered how many of us see deception and don't even recognize one. Yeah, just because uh, we, we live in a deceptive world. Deception is all over us. Fear is all over us. Whether you believe it or not, that's the, the, um, the atmosphere in which you and I are living today. I've seen whether the, when the whole oh, deception started, videos were taken down left, right and center. Whether you take a video down or not, it does not change the fact that there is deception. Whether you pay for a video, I've seen people pay for videos to be taken down because a, a deception is being exposed. It does not make the issue go away. It just means now, what are you going to do? How would you change? How would you transform yourself? The truth is, we all are being deceived in one form or the other. Don't wait for deception to happen and hit your door or, an, or a result of deception. Then we start to panic. Then we start to think, had I known? It's always, you know, we learn from other people's mistakes. We don't need to do the same thing. To think of the consequences that will happen. We already saw what people did and the consequences <laughs> the sun is sinking i'm sinking in <laughs> and saw the consequences and if i'm repeating the same uh, the same thing i already know the consequences hiding and pretending it doesn't exist doesn't make the problem go away the only time the problem go away the only time i will stop myself from sinking in this sun right is acknowledging that i am standing in the sea and because I don't want to be drowned by the sea, I will walk to a place of safety. I would remove myself from danger and walk to a place of safety. What do you see today that is deception around you? And you turn away or you pretend not to know or you see it and think, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't want to say because it doesn't affect me or it will affect you in one way or the other. It affects us in one way or the other. We all, I was sharing with the sister of mine as we were meditating. We all seem to acknowledge, wait for people to have crises. And then we run to them to be these uh, lifesavers. Actually, we're not. Life is not for the dead. Or you hear somebody has died. That's when we all run to and want to. There is a place for that, but life is for the living and not for the dead. When we start to understand the concept of living, the concept of life, we would see the wonderful things God has created. No one can own this sea. You see right behind me, nobody can own this sea. Just think for one moment. If God, if every single one of us on the planet comes to the sea and collect this water, assuming this water was wealth, do you think the sea will dry off? The answer is impossible. It's absolutely impossible, right? Look at the sun. The sun I'm walking in. I told you I was in the sea. So that's, those are my ten toes walking on this land, in the water. Do you think if this sun was wealth, how many of us can collect and it gets finished. The answer is none. It would never. So why do we fight for things? What is the concept of fighting? Who deceived us in this world that you alone can come and own the sea <laughs> to do what? Or the wealth 
you alone can own the wealth of the world. To do what? There is a day and an hour where the spirit would leave you. So you would see that there is more power and you cannot even help yourself. I was sharing with a brother of mine a few days ago when we were chatting and I said every time I think of myself and I think, ah, oh, I go back to a letter Steve Job. I don't know whether he wrote that letter or not, but apparently that's what he showed up in Facebook that he wrote it. And because it reminds me of humanity, where we think we've arrived. He thought he'd arrived. He thought he had everything. But today, Apple's, Apple is still going on. Where is Steve? He's been dead for years. But what he created is still going on. What are you creating? That would outlive you. The money he had in his bank account, get, guess what? It was never his money. The clothes he had, never his clothes. They've probably ended up in one charity place or the other. The tax man would have taken all the money in the account and done one thing or the other with government for. But what he blessed people with, the blessings, the people still look at their blessings and remember what he planted in their life. I pray today that we all look for somebody to plant something that outlives you. That after you've gone, your name will still be remembered for the good you did. It can be remembered for the bad, but none of us want to leave a tree rotten as the apples of my garden was rotten. And until I took down the tree, every year it produced a rotten apple. You start to understand why God would tell uh, 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 people, kill these people. And you wonder, why would God ask the children of Israel to kill a particular lot of people, all of them? Because he knew from generation to generation, there were rotten apples. And no matter what he did, the rottenness will come out. Today, you have an opportunity to transform yourself, my darling brothers and sisters. It is an opportunity for all of us to do. Transform that mindset. Change the destiny for your population. Change the destiny of your family, of your children, that they would know it is not just wealth, that they will know that life will happen to every single one of us. It's not to stain yourself in mud that will make it better, but actually rise up above it and keep yourself safe. Know that there is a God who sees in darkness, who sees in light. So, my darling brothers and sisters, sometime in life, it's to walk in the light and not in the darkness. When darkness is, is exposed, it's for you to take it, acknowledge, turn away from your evil ways and do what is right. Paying for a video to be taken away, removing videos on YouTube doesn't make the problem go away. It makes you hide in the darkness where da Satan can always use you and manipulate you for his glory. Yes, for his glory. Well, people can laugh at you. People may know what you've gone through. Who hasn't? He who has not seen, remind them to cast the first stone. But being this high and mighty, <laughs> pride eats every single one of us. For you and I to do that, hey, dig deep, deeper than ever before. Transform that mindset. Believe. You see, this sea will always be here till thy kingdom come. It'll always be here. It'll always, it just increases in size and keeps consuming the earth as much as God allows it. There are no barriers. Yes, I'll take you around. Look at it. The barrier is sand. <laughs> you can see. And every time we sink in, hey, the sand goes down. Be my guest. Be a blessing to somebody today. Be a blessing to your family. Be a blessing to a friend who cannot pay you back, but will increase your legacy in this world. We came to be a blessing. Jesus came and gave. He never took anything back. He gave it. So all of us know one day we'll not be here. But what, will, what we have given would outlive us in this world.
Thank you all. Love you. If Jesus tarries to come, I'll see you next week at a different <laughs> location. Location, location. I'm actually at the seaside. Just having fun today and just walking. Love you. Bye for now.